Rick, just after how the game went two weeks ago in Baton Rouge, just what did you think of your, your team's toughness and their physicality tonight? I was really proud of our guys. I, I really felt the last couple of days they had really got locked in and uh, LSU plays much different than most teams. You know, they, they switch one through five, do a terrific job of their mixing their defenses and trying to score a lot of points off those defenses. And uh, the only thing that concerned me to start of the game, you know, we you know, I I do think that we can shoot the three ball when we shoot it on our terms and I thought after we made some early <coughs> in our building, again, it's again. I think it's the best. And uh, I thought our players got a little bit emotional because we we still wanted to play inside out, try to get to the foul line. And not that they were they were bad threes, because again, I don't know we forced any of them, but uh, we wanted good movement, ball reversal to give us a chance to uh, you know get the ball moving, trying to get some cracks, trying to get some slip screens and and, and actions like that. But it was it was the uh, mental approach to our guys coming in, and physically, they knew they were going to be in a battle all night long, and uh, a terrific defensive effort. We now there at the end, we gave up three baskets as easy as that we've given up all year, and I, I can't explain it because we had been really locked in there. I thought we stayed locked in defensively, and even though I think we had a couple more fouls than them, we we didn't put them on the free throw line, and did a better job of taking care of the ball. They normally get 22, 24 points off turnovers. They didn't get that. But the second half, the, what we talked about more more than anything was we needed more points in the paint, paint touches, and we were able to get that. Mike Grant West. Rick, two things. You mentioned that, that change mental approach. What went into changing that, and how did the guys do that? And secondly, was BJ available today? He was. Everybody was available today. We uh, we watched the tape, and we just showed the things that we did well, the things that we didn't do well, and. And to be quite honest, some of the same point of emphasis were the exact ones we talked about in Baton Rouge, the exact same ones that we said we've got to, we've got to clean this up. And uh, but uh, and defensively, we, we were better today here than we were in Baton Rouge. I mean, we had way too many easy bell outs down there. We had the three laps that we gave there at the end, you know, two where we kept the ball went right through us and then back cut. We had numerous of those there where we were just switching out of convenience. Uh, that, and even those two plays today, the same thing. We had way too many, but uh, uh, we were able to overcome it. And uh, I thought rebounding today, we, we, we really went at it as hard as we will against a team that really gets off the ground. And, and uh, uh, the way they do, they're quick. They got, they got that second, third quick jump, but uh, we battled in there. And, it was the kind of game we thought it was going to be. We knew it was going to be a hard-fought physical game, and it's, it's what it was. But I think they're all going to be like that. I do. I, I think this league is – that's what it is. There's no easy outs at any certain any time, and you're going to have to, you're going to, have to fight every night if you want to win a basketball game. Rick, are you aware of what happened pregame where some people had to be separate? What yeah. What happened also at halftime? Uh, you know what? I don't know what happened. Before the game, you heard I heard different things where if something happened with – Manager throwing the ball into the stands, and one of our guys said, "Stop doing that." I don't, I, I don't know the whole deal of it. And some people came together, and whatever at halftime, two teams start doing that. They're going to do exactly what they did, whether one team says something or not. They're going to call a double technical foul. It just that's how they're going to do it, and uh, uh, that's just it's going to happen that way. But I, I don't, I didn't, I, I didn't. Uh, I did not. Uh, I didn't see the one. To be quite honestly, because I was talking to one of the other referees at halftime when we were going off the floor. It, it seems like a lot of games with LSU, not just against y'all, but against everybody, they're just they're an emotional team. They they play that way. As a coach, how do you find that right line between your guys combating that, and, but also keeping their heads cool? Well, that's it. You, you, there is a, there is a line that you you got, but you got there's a line that you got to walk up to. I mean, or you you know you can't let them. Think you're going to win that part of the game any every time you you can't and uh, and I thought our guys we talked about you know what we have to do but we're going to do it the way we need to do it within the rules of the game and we're going to play hard we're going to play aggressive I I was when I uh, what Grant talked about there at halftime I thought that last play of the game of the half that Kennedy got tripped but but he didn't when I looked at halftime he didn't and uh, uh, but. Uh, that's what. That's why I didn't see what was going on. I wouldn't have seen it anyway because normally I'd have been off the floor by that. But uh, again, we, we, you know, every team takes on personalities. Uh, 
your opponents all have a different personality. You've got to know what you're dealing with when you go into a game and what you're going to have to do to combat whatever that personality might be. Every game brings a different personality. But uh, I know they got a couple players hurt, and, and uh, they, I mean, I, you could tell he was, and I, you got to give him credit. He tried to fight it. He did. He, he really did try to fight it. But I'm not going to take anything away from our guys because from the get-go, they were locked in defensively and doing the things that we needed them to do. And uh, and I think we, you know, we, we can we can still get so much better. Rick, when you guys get off to a fast start like that, does that let the players play? Maybe a little bit more loose for the rest of the game. You know, you keep that thing. To well, play? That, that again, the players. I was proud of them. They were saying that, hey, we're, let's not get too loose, because uh, you know, as quick as you get a lead, I mean, in this league, you, you you start letting your emotion get the best of you and get happy, like with shooting threes or careless with the ball, you know, two times in a row, but you know. 12-point lead and go to a six-point lead real quick. And uh, so I think sometimes, I mean, I, I do think we're still a young team learning that. I thought Santi, as the game went on, uh, again, as Kennedy and uh, Z, I, again, they're still, they really are still learning what this thing is. I thought Santi was the one that finally, and Josiah, started getting us organized. And I told him, during, if we will get organized and do what we, what we talk about, we're going to be fine on the offensive end. It's when we get too emotional that the game, you know, I mean, I don't know we took a, a bad three tonight. I don't know we really did, but they have to be on our terms based on our scouting report and our game plan, and we're going to get better with that. We really are because it goes back to what you said early in the year. We felt like we had guys passing up shots, and then we said, hey, we got to shoot open shots. And then we have, we've had a lot of open shots that we haven't made. We're not going to make all the open shots anyway, but still, we we need to get to the free throw. I remember early in the year, one of you guys had asked me about why we're not getting fouled because we weren't putting any pressure on the defense. But some of that had to do with our non-league opponents just packing it back in there so far that you were almost daring you to shoot it. So there's that fine line you're talking about where, you know, you shoot it and we don't want anybody to be tight with it. We I just want to get a shot. And that's why I told him. I mean, you go back and you picked out one stat as a coach, I'd say if we can get more shots than them most of the time, you're going to win a lot of basketball games. Mike Ben Ben. Reed, you talked a lot about how locked in you felt like the team was, but the plan and preparation was similar to two weeks ago. So why was it different, and how do you bottle up this level of, of locked in and intensity moving forward? You know, Mike, that's a great question. I wish you guys would ask all my players that, because we certainly as coaches talk about it. You know, this was a, a terrific win for us, but we're getting towards the end of January, and by now we got to know that this is what we got to do. We got to do it, home away, and we had we had a great effort defensively at at uh, Vanderbilt, and they they played a terrific defensive game as well. We've got to continue to build that, and we're going to make we'll, again we'll, we're going to we're going to make some shots. You know, I remember last year in the NCAA tournament, you know. Uh, uh, Oregon State all at once got it going into in the Pac-12 as we did our scout and where they were at the beginning of the year, at the end of the year, everybody would say to say you, they simply started making shots. And I believe that at some point in time we're going to consistently do that and we will if we consistently play together and stay organized. With Roche's energy and just the motions out there on the floor, what do you think that's brought to the team the, this last week? Well, you, you say that just that. His emotion, his energy has been a, sh a big shot in the arm for us. I think it helps the other p players. I think that he, and first of all, he, he's very authentic. It's nothing phony about it. Uh, I say the same thing about Jemai Meshack. I think that he does the same thing. I mean, when he talks, I mean, it's authentic. I said that, I, I think, after one of the other games. But it's been a big, big shot in the arm for us because you've got to have that. And again, we've got some older guys. Santi will do it in his own way. Josiah's going to do it in his own way. But what he's done has been is something that this team needed. Rick, four guys only took shots from outside. Was that more by design or just kind of flow of the game? Well, again, we talk about, you know, we, we, we don't want everybody shooting threes. I mean, the teams are going to let us shoot threes. They're going to, they're going to do it. We want to be organized, and within the flow of our offense, we know who the three-point shooters are, and we got post guys that can do it too. But the point is, they got other jobs they need to do first, and we got to get. Like I'm really proud of Brandon tonight in his minutes out there. He came up with six big rebounds. Big. He's going to get quicker and better around the rim, understanding that he's going to have to play quicker with when he gets rebounds and gets a chance to score the ball. 
I, but I thought he was more locked in on defense. Kennedy was 10 times better today defensively than he was in Baton Rouge. He was, uh, he played his, probably his best effort game at Vanderbilt. And if he'll continue to do, to do that, now on offense, when he gets tired, he settles. And that's where we tell him, tell him today, you got to get off the ball, let somebody else get it moving sometime. But again, he, and when we asked him to start driving the ball, creating some things, he did. And we need him to get that ball to the lane area, paint area, high percentage area, and, and, and spray it around. Last one in town. Coach, everybody sees Santi scoring 16 points tonight and hit five threes. But there's something about him when he brings that toughness that he brought tonight that he brought in that bandy game. What does that mean to you guys? Well, to be honest with you, Santi's brought it every night. If you ask our guys and, and ask the question earlier, what do we got to do to bottle this? He's done it every night. He, he, if he's had one or two off nights, maybe, but his effort, his defense, he plays like he's 6'7", but, he, but he's highly competitive. But that's one guy that you, you know he's going to bring it every night. Thank you, Coach. All right, thank you, guys. Thank you.